Sadiq is someone who's been competing in bodybuilding since the dawn of literal time. And he really hasn't had the best career in terms of actually placing in shows, but he's showed up time and time again and done his thing, which I think is really commendable. His first show is even before 2013, and he's still competing, or well, at least I think he is, as of 2024. This is where Sadiq really started and got his pretty solid beach body. This is what men's physique used to look like before it turned into the glorified bodybuilding that it is now. Compared to what it looks like now, this is quite a bit different, isn't it? Kind of a shame, honestly. Well, when Sadiq, as a Bosnian, started to compete in American sports, being bodybuilding, during that time, it wasn't that drugs were idolized. In fact, steroids in men's physique weren't really even used. There could be a very good argument to make that most of the competitors were probably using nothing. The whole category was designed to preach realistic physiques so that more people could get integrated into bodybuilding and therefore pay for seats. However, very clearly, its requirements as a category have exponentially changed to something that's not even obtainable naturally or even by most people these days. Sadiq had a lot of odd moments in his career, dropping out of several shows randomly, doing weird things on social media, and obviously doing the YouTuber lifestyle thing. The amount of times that he said he quit bodybuilding are countless, with comments on videos regularly saying, like, this guy doesn't disappoint to disappoint. However, he did make the most of his bodybuilding career used this leverage to make several brands and start companies, growing in a pretty impressive following and as well a pretty impressive income. However, as the commenter said, he doesn't fail to disappoint. In a recent video from Sadiq, he had titled it Why I Stopped Using Steroids. He goes into depth about how some shady figures motivated him to stop taking steroids to be better. Obviously, I use PEDs as part of sport. I always use them pre-contest. And right around now, I start to get, you know, like that. I can't wait to get off PEDs. You know, I start to get on that kick. And the reason I get on that kick is because they change you mentally. As much as it changes you physically, your physical being is a superhero, but your mind is like, you belong in like a psycho ward, <laughs> you know? So as, 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 as strong as they are for your physique, they're even more impactful and strong for your brain. And you know, sometimes that's not always a good thing. Man, I feel like everybody and their mother says that they're gonna come off and then they never do. Oh, <laughs> Mike Gizertel. In this video, he goes on to say that Simeon Panda, of all fucking people, convinced him to be a natural individual, or to be as close to natural as he could be because his results were so unreal, it was something he aspired to do and challenge himself to take the harder path. For this past weekend, it was Simeon to train with Sim, you know, and Sim being natural and me, obviously I use PEDs. So I was really looking forward to coming off all my gear, seeing Sim, you know, and being inspired by him, you know, because I truly believe that he's natural. I don't care if I get flack from this or not, but I've known this guy for 10 years, you know, and uh, I see his physique for 10 years. You know, even when we're training together, no knock on him, but I'm obviously stronger, you know, so what the numbers that he's putting up aren't conducive to those that are abusing anabolic steroids. Just really strong athlete. So I'm gonna use him as my inspiration for the next six months. I'm gonna get off all PEDs for six months. Again, this is because Simeon claims natural. Yet, oddly enough, he's just as big as Sadiq, someone who's been using steroids for multiple decades. Well, not multiple, but approaching multiple. And Sadiq says several times during this video that he cannot wait to come off of PEDs, that PEDs truly make him a person in which he hates. Ending this statement with something we've commonly heard over and over again recently, which is that steroids make him feel like he belongs in a psych ward. He says he's going to come off for the next six months and see what he can do without any steroids. But then he also mentions the use of TRT and how he would rather quit cold turkey, but he might just move to TRT. So I don't even think he's so sure of what he's doing. He's obviously unsure about all of this. What I'm curious about is what the fuck happens after six months? Why is that the number? Why not indefinitely come off? Why not just come off for three months? I mean, you're you're going to need legitimately three years to clear some of the metabolites, especially if you've taken something like equipoise, which is an anabolic steroid that can last in the body for a very long time. And even in natural bodybuilding, if you were to have taken a performance enhancing drug and you want to compete in natural bodybuilding, you have to wait seven years before you're allowed to compete again. And that's seven years from when you stop enhancing. So six months really isn't representative of quote unquote being natural. And in some data, like I said, the metabolites of 
of equipoise will last in a human body for up to five years. Sometimes these metabolites are just as anabolic, more so even than the parent hormone. And I think it's really important, Sadiq, to make the delineation that going on TRT is not coming off of steroids. In fact, it's just a cope that people believe in because when you go on higher doses of steroids, you're definitely going to build your physique. But building the physique is the hardest thing to do when you're talking about building muscle. However, once it's been built, it is wildly easy to maintain. And there's a lot of bodybuilders who can stay on minimal doses of testosterone, what could be considered therapeutic TRT, and maintain a lot of their muscle. Just because you're on TRT doesn't mean that you've managed to become a normal human. You still have a lot of physiological adaptations that happened over the past decade you were on steroids that would be activated by taking something like a simple dose of TRT. And by nature, TRT doesn't create the variability that a normal diurnal human being would have when they're taking or not taking exogenous hormones. Endogenously speaking, your testosterone goes up in the morning and down at night. If you had a bad night of sleep, it's going to crash. If you had a poor diet, it's going to crash. If you have too high estrogen, it's going to crash. But when you're taking TRT, it's just stable. Nothing changes. And that stability creates a form of enhancement. The situation at hand is, is that this dude has epigenetic changes that have happened over the decade of using tons of steroids that are going to be there for the rest of his life, whether he's on TRT or not. But certainly those things will be enhanced when he's on TRT, including those mental side effects, which everyone loves talking about. People commonly say that they feel like they need to be in a psych ward or that they're harmful when they're on steroids, which for one is a high chance of embellishment and probably editorialization of actually being on gear. It's not like that for most people. If you're a psychopath before you get on gear, there is a very high likelihood that you will be furthermore a greater psychopath on gear. But whilst being on gear doesn't automatically change you into a psychopath. But what's interesting to me is it's these people think that gear itself is the main thing that is stimulating these mental disorders, whatever they might be as they classify them. What they don't tend to think is that, oh man, these mental disorders that were perpetuated by taking steroids could last longer than I was on steroids. They could last the rest of my life. And even with the steroids gone, you could still have the precipitation of these mental disorders. And this is something we've talked about a lot on this channel as well. So saying that you feel like you need a psych ward on steroids really leads me to believe that you have pre-existing issues that you're not letting anybody know about and you're just trying to make excuses for why your attitude's bad around the family. Lastly, Simeon Panda is not fucking natural, nor will he ever be natural. This is just insane. I don't think anyone ever has thought or believed that Simeon Panda is natural. So using him as your role model is absolutely fucking wild, which also makes me believe that ultimately Sadiq is just virtue hunting. He's not planning on getting off of anything. Rather, he just wants to tell people this, saying that he had this enlightenment and create a better, more general population following. That being said, I think it's amazing for someone to come off gear at least reduced down to real TRT, especially if you've been using it for as long as Sadiq has been with a family. It's only going to improve your health and indefinitely make your situation better as a human being. So realistically, I hope he does come off. Even if he loves bodybuilding as he says he does to a point to which he needs to do it, fine, but just do it on TRT. Testosterone replacement therapy really does allow you to exceed some normal physiological boundaries that, I mean, most people have to face and you could go off scot-free without those. Also, if it's the process of bodybuilding that he really loves, the doing it day in, day out kind of thing and the groundhog day aspects of it and not actually the show itself, then just be a dude in the gym training like everybody else. I don't think anyone can argue the fact that TRT bodybuilding is significantly healthier than the alternative. In just coming off of gear and making this virtue signal to the world saying that steroids are bad and they make me feel like I'm going to a psych ward and all of this random shit and then completely disregarding the fact that everyone knows Simeon Panda is not natural and then saying that he inspired you to be natural is the most fucking hot take I've ever heard. That's bullshit. Oh, don't you take that tone with me. I don't know. What do you think? Is this all garbage? I think it's garbage. I'll be honest with you. How dare you? If you want to get healthier and you feel like you're on a psych ward on androgens, and if you right now sitting back at home are watching this, eating your bowl of food, whatever that might be, then listen to me here. You should not be jeopardizing your mental health for a sport or for a trophy or for a physique. Because realistically, as someone who's won their natural pro card completely naturally and then went into the NPC, I can tell you for a matter of fact, if you just put the time and effort in, you can build an amazing physique using virtually no gear at all. And the mental side effects in the permanent 
issues that one might experience by abusing the wrong types of gear and at the wrong doses are lifelong. They are not something to play around with. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and if you would please do so, subscribe. It's free to you and it really does help the channel and me immensely. And I will always appreciate you for it. I promise. I don't know how, but I promise. Yeah.